Today I'm here to show you how the new Share to Classroom extension works. Um, right now you're looking at my screen at the Google for Education blog, which just announced this on Wednesday, September 2nd. And so I wanted to show you how to set this up because it's a great tool to help us out as teachers. So you're going to go into the Chrome Web Store and you are going to search for Share to Classroom. And under the extensions right here, now you can see I've already installed it, but what it's going to do is you're going to click on Add to Chrome, and then you'll click Add again on the little pop-up window. Each student also needs to add this extension to Chrome. And so once the teacher and all the kids have it, and you're using Google Classroom with those kids, it's going to allow you to push out a web page. So let's say that I am about to take my students to this website. What I will do is load the website into a tab. I will come to the extension and click on it because it installs it in this bar for me. And you can see I was using it earlier. So I'll take you back to the main screen. Here are the classes that I currently have in Google Classroom. So I would be able to pick the class that I was working with at that time. And I would simply just go and click on the class. And you get a little computer screen that says push to students. And it's just reminding you here that the kids need the extension to. And I would be able to hit push. And it would actually push it out to the student's screens. And in a moment, I'm gonna do a cutaway and you're gonna see me actually doing this in my classroom to the kids. And I'm gonna kind of walk right on over here. And as I come around, you're gonna see it's already starting to load on the kids' computers. And our school doesn't have the fastest internet. We keep working to get it faster and faster. But what you see now is that the kids' computers are loading. Hers is being a little crankier, but they are loading. And so now you can quickly send out a website to children without having to go through that pain of typing it over and over and over. So that's a great time saver for us. This new extension also gives us some other options. You can come into a class and you can do this drop down menu and you can either post an announcement or an assignment to your Google Classroom without actually having to open it up in a window. So you could come in and make an announcement. Obviously it's going to pull this into the tab and I could do create assignment with that tab or with that link built in. You also have the ability to open Classroom from here. You have a little button down here and it's a place to give Google feedback. If you're running to a problem, if there's something you want, please let Google know. They are listening teachers to what we ask for. You also have a question mark which will give you a help button and it will take you into support. And so they have some information for you to be able to use. That's all you have to do to use this great new extension is just get it installed and start using it. And it solves the age-old problem of kids getting to that website quickly. So as one teacher said on Twitter, this could put about five minutes back into your class.